Epistherchiasis, Wikipedia article audio. Epistherchiasis is a parasitic disease caused by species in the genus Epistherchus. Chronic infection may lead to cholangiocarcinoma, a malignant cancer of the bile ducts. Signs and Symptoms Diagnosis Prevention Treatment Epidemiology Chronic epistherchiasis and cholangiocarcinoma Medical care and loss of wages caused by Epistherchus viverini in Laos and in Thailand costs about $120 million annually. Infection by Epistherchus viverini and other liver flukes in Asia affect the poor and poorest people. Epistherchiasis is on the World Health Organization's list of neglected tropical diseases. Symptoms of epistherchiasis are indistinguishable from clonorchiasis. About 80% of infected people have no symptoms, though they can have eosinophilia. Asymptomatic infection can occur when there are less than 1,000 eggs in 1 gram in feces. Infection is considered heavy when there are 10,000 to 30,000 eggs in 1 gram of feces. Symptoms of heavier infections with Epistherchus viverini may include, diarrhea, epigastric and upper right quadrant pain, lack of appetite, fatigue, yellowing of the eyes and skin and mild fever. These parasites are long-lived and cause heavy chronic infections that may lead to accumulation of fluid in the legs and in the peritoneal cavity enlarged non-functional gallbladder and also cholangitis, which can lead to periductal fibrosis, cholecystitis, and cholelithiasis, obstructive jaundice, hepatomegaly and slash or fibrosis of the periportal system. The medical diagnosis is established by finding eggs of Epistherchus viverini in feces using the Cato technique. An antigen 89 cata of Epistherchus viverini can be detected by a LISA test. A PCR test capable of amplifying a segment of the internal transcribed spacer region of ribosomal DNA for the Epistherchiid and heterophiid flukes eggs taken directly from feces was developed and evaluated in a rural community in central Thailand. The lowest quantity of DNA that could be amplified from individual adults of Epistherchus viverini was estimated to 0.6 pg. Effective prevention could be readily achieved by persuading people to consume cooked fish, but the ancient cultural custom to consume raw, undercooked or freshly pickled fish persists in endemic areas. One community health program, known as the Lawa model, has achieved success in the Lawa Lakes region south of Khan Kane. Currently, there is no effective chemotherapy to combat cholangiocarcinoma, such that intervention strategies need to rely on the prevention or treatment of liver fluke infection slash disease. Cooking or deep freezing of food made of fish is sure method of prevention. Methods for prevention of Epistherchus viverini in aquaculture fish ponds were proposed by Cambonruan ETAL. Chloroquine was used unsuccessfully in attempts to treat Epistherchiasis in 1951-1968. Control of Epistherchiasis relies predominantly on anti-helminthic treatment with praziquantel. The single dose of praziquantel of 40 mg kg is effective against epistherchiasis. Despite the efficacy of this compound, the lack of an acquired immunity to infection predisposes humans to reinfections in endemic regions. In addition, under experimental conditions, the short-term treatment of Epistherchus viverini infected hamsters with praziquantel induced a dispersion of parasite antigens, resulting in adverse immunopathological changes as a result of oxidative and nitrative stresses following reinfection with Epistherchus viverini, 
a process which has been proposed to initiate and slash or promote the development of cholangiocarcinoma in humans. Albendazole can be used as an alternative. A randomist controlled trial published in 2011 showed that the broad spectrum anti helminthic, tribendamidine, appears to be at least as efficacious as praziquantel. Artemisinin was also found to have anthelmintic activity against Apisthercus viverini. Apisthercusis is prevalent where raw cyprinid fishes are a staple of the diet. Prevalence rises with age. Children under the age of 5 years are rarely infected by Apisthercus viverini. Males may be affected more than females. The WHO estimates that foodborne trematodiases affect 56 million people worldwide and 750 million are at risk of infection. 80 million are at risk of Apisthercusis, 67 million from infection with Apisthercus viverini in Southeast Asia and 13 million from Apisthercus felinus in Kazakhstan, Russia including Siberia, and Ukraine. In the lower Mekong River Basin, the disease is highly endemic, and more so in lowlands, with a prevalence up to 60% in some areas of Northeast Thailand. However, estimates using newer polymerase chain reaction-based diagnostic techniques indicate that prevalence is probably grossly underestimated. In one study from the 1980s, a prevalence of over 90% was found in persons greater than 10 years old in a small village near Konkane in northeast Thailand in the region known as Isan. Sporadic cases have been reported in case reports from Malaysia, Singapore, and the Philippines. Although overall prevalence declined after initial surveys in the 1950s, increases since the 1990s in some areas seem associated with large increases in aquaculture. Both experimental and epidemiological evidence strongly implicates Apisthercus viverini infections in the etiology of a malignant cancer of the bile ducts in humans which has a very poor prognosis. Clonarchis sinensis and Apisthercus viverini are both categorized by the International Agency for Research on Cancer as Group 1 carcinogens. In humans, the onset of cholangiocarcinoma occurs with chronic apisthercusis, associated with hepatobiliary damage, inflammation, periductal fibrosis, and slash or cellular responses to antigens from the infecting fluke. These conditions predispose to cholangiocarcinoma, possibly through an enhanced susceptibility of DNA to damage by carcinogens. Chronic hepatobiliary damage is reported to be multifactorial and considered to arise from a continued mechanical irritation of the epithelium by the flukes present, particularly via their suckers, metabolites and excreted-slash-secreted antigens as well as immunopathological processes. In silico analyses using techniques of genomics and bioinformatics is unraveling information on molecular mechanisms that may be relevant to the development of cholangiocarcinoma. In regions where Apisthercus viverini is highly endemic, the incidence of cholangiocarcinoma is unprecedented. For instance, Cholangiocarcinomas represent 15% of primary liver cancer worldwide, but in Thailand's Konkane region, this figure escalates to 90%, the highest recorded incidence of this cancer in the world. Of all cancers worldwide from 2002, 0.02% were cholangiocarcinoma caused by Apisthercus viverini. The cancer of the bile ducts caused by apisthercusis occur in the ages 25-44 years in Thailand. A few cases have appeared in later life among veterans of the Vietnam War in the United States, who consumed poorly cooked fish from streams in endemic areas near the border of Laos and Vietnam.